champion in 14 games yeah. here in the LEC. Definitely been one of the players that has stepped up and helped take Rogue to the next level. But reminder that Rogue won the regular season in summer last year. They've not picked up a regular season win against G2. And right now they're down first blood, but even on gold because of those th three pushing lanes that we talked about. And you'll notice that Rogue are deciding to let this lane push into them because their jungle leader was taking a reset. Yankos they knew was on the bottom side of the map. Now, as the resets come through, Inspired comes around like, okay, let's push out this wave and take a reset for ourselves. And I would quickly like to look back at that middle lane because the one key difference, even though Caps did get the first blood and kill Arsenal, was because Caps used his TP before the play happened. Caps has not been able to go back to Base. So the item difference in mid lane is actually favoring Larson still the HP, the mana again in the rogue mid laner's favor. So he's going to continue to play forward here. And that's why I'd love to see Mickey get in the area off of the reset. He's going to look for a play around mid. Gonna be able to find Inspired in just a moment. Flash forward into the Zenith Blade. Shield of Daybreak picks up the kill and the culling allows Caps to pick up the second flawlessly executed. That is just beautiful. That's everything you need to see out of Mickey coming off that play. Because again, the lane after the solo kill was going to get a little bit rough. Now Yankos is on the ward. Oh, Uduwame is going to hop away to safety. Got a flash available. Gets away from at least the first spear as Yankos swaps into Cougar form. And despite taking a damage from Odo, it will be Wanda that picks up the final ward. It's ready. It becomes much more challenging for them to press that go button. It's going to be interesting to see the target selection Ouch. for Trimby as he's got one Black Shield, but he's got himself inspired Larson or Hans Summer as all potential targets. And of course, execution in those team fights will be crucial. We are still as even as the game can be in terms of power. It's three kills to zero, but the dragon in Rogue's back pocket is the first dragon that G2 have lost in over a week. They got all seven drakes in the games they played last weekend. They are looking more and more dominant. And I think that's important to call out because Rogue, I think, started spring looking very strong. And they've diversified their champion pools and they've tried a few things out here and there. But G2 are looking more and more terrifying with each passing week. And this game could be a preview of the finals. This game could be the number one and number two. I think it is, Trevor. I'll say it right now. Here we go. Mickey goes in. That's fine, Larson. This time around, the curtain is called. Defensive flash from Larson. He manages to escape with the help of the Sand Soldiers. But the fourth shot, and Yankos pouncing into the fray. The stun will catch out Trimming. He's trying to root down two. Yankos is able to escape, but he gets put to sleep. And Hunt Summer's on the board. The first for Rogue. That's a dash forward for Caps. He manages to take out Trimby. Now Inspired and Hunt Summer running for their lives. G2 are setting up for a dive. It's a big fight there from G2. Yankos is around the tower looking to see what he can find for himself. He's going to end up walking out of this one, but G2 again seeing... Keep it, he gets put to sleep and Hunt Summer's on the board. The first for Rogue. That's a dash forward for Caps. He manages to take out Trimby. Now Inspired and Hunt Summer running for their lives. G2 are setting up for a dive. It's a big fight there from G2. Yankos is around the tower looking to see what he can find for himself. He's going to end up walking out of this one, but G2 again seeing Larson and absolutely bullying the man. Three deaths in just 12 minutes, and it's because Mickey continues to target Rogue's mid. That Leona pick is paying off for G2, but the team composition is exactly what you wanted to see. This is how G2 like to play the game. They like to pick those fights and to put pressure all around them, and, and ideally, get advantages through kills. You can see this one happening as Larson will hold off the Rift Herald for the time being. And this is the first now meaningful gold lead, plus 1,400 at the 12 minute mark. Yeah, and you can see there, I mean, in this replay, even how frustrating Leona can be against an Azir, because the Zenith Blade lands, sure, you still knock her away, but then what comes out after it? The Solar Flare, right in the middle of the animation there. So it's very challenging to escape. If you are a Larson, especially if the Black Shield isn't immediately ready, which it wasn't, Trimby wasn't quite in range, and then stunned up against the wall. They tried to turn it around, but I think the sleep maybe runs out on Mickey a little bit early. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day, though, because Caps pumps out so much damage, and there's simply no threat left to put on him from the rogue side. And Caps, three and zero, that color's about to pop. He's got the Essence Reaver already, and he's been able to just- A lot about keeping range. And, uh, well, they found Yankos. They have indeed. He's gonna flash over the wall, get put to sleep. There's no further follow-up. Dark oh! Oh, the snipe and the burn. It's Inspired that gets the kill. And that is very important on the champion like Alilia. Inspired still trying yeah. to make his impact on the game. It's been played around him. His lanes have been bullied. 
But now we're getting to the stage where he has to, has to have an impact in these team fights and skirmishes. I'm honestly shocked that he got the kill with the burn after the bind. Caps is oh! out of his mind! Underneath the tower, Caps takes one extra shot, and the damage from Hans Sama is huge. He's got two items completed already, but defending a tower is oh, difficult. Larson. How crazy is he feeling? He's got no flash available. The Everfrost will buy <laughs> some time, but look at G2's pathing. Caps going around, looking for the tribush. Emperor's divide, the slide, the glide. Larson needs to buy some time. Sends out the sand soldier, but cannot interrupt. One Wonder. And Caps manages to support another kill for G2. Larson to slow or stop G2. And despite Odo buying some time, the rest of G2 are collapsing, surrounding, and crushing Rogue's hopes. Odo will be the next target as he gets rooted down from a long range. A dash forward from the Gale Force. Another Mickey again. Dead blade. Every single tool lands. And G2 Esports are inside the base of Rogue. Mickey showed up to play today from the early roams to mid to again find